Alright, so two rare occurrences happened this week involving Kristen Stewart. One, she laughed, and two, she talked about her sexual orientation. In this video, we'll be talking about that second point. More specifically, we'll be talking about how her answer, at least to me, seems like Kristen Stewart is joining the long list of other celebrities who just do not want to label themselves. Please hang up and try again. In the Nylon Magazine article, Kristen Stewart addressed a question about her sexuality by saying, Google me, I'm not hiding. If you feel like you really want to define yourself and you have the ability to articulate those parameters and that in itself defines you, then do it. But I'm an actress, man. I live in the effing, she use, uses the actual word, ambiguity of this life and I love it. Now to me, again, I think that this is an indicator that Kristen Stewart is not interested or would prefer not to label herself. And we see a lot of celebrities and, and, you know, honestly, other people who are simply saying no to, to labels. And I want to talk about labels and I want to talk, uh, in, in my head, labeling and stereotyping, and please let me know if you disagree, but labeling and stereotyping, again, in my head, are somewhat similar. They obviously have their differences, but they, they both are practices we as humans use to make sense of the world, to make the world a little bit easier to understand. Stereotyping actually originated from the printing trade in which stereotypes were duplicates of a printing plate. And so you could take the original, duplicate it, and then duplicate the typography. And in a general sense, we kind of still do that as humans when it comes to other humans and also objects. So let's talk about, um, for instance, a chair. So when you were younger, you saw a chair and you learned what you do with the chair. Now, every time you see a chair, you take a stereotype of that chair, a duplicate of that original experience and kind of put that into the current experience. So you see a chair and you say, that's a chair, I sit in it. Now imagine if you didn't have that, if you could not do that, you would be essentially going from chair to chair, working from scratch. You would see a chair, not know what a chair was, not know what to do with it every single time you saw a chair. And I think we do a similar thing with labeling. We, for instance, label streets so we know how to get to a certain house or we label food so we know what is in it. It gives us a better idea of what certain objects are in our life. So labeling and stereotyping can be beneficial, but problems arise when you try to label and stereotype humans because humans are more complex than the most intricate chair or the most complicated street design because humans have feelings and feelings are very hard to describe and to try to label. I mean, think about trying to describe in words what mad feels like or what sad feels like or what love feels like. Writers for, for centuries have been trying to figure out a proper way to describe love. And I don't think any of them have been perfect because feelings are very, very hard to try to make sense of, to try a label. Now, when it comes to sexual orientation, yes, you can view it as simply sex. What is your sexual preference? You have a preference of having sex with males or females or both, but I guess in my view, sexual orientation also involves feelings. You have a certain feeling toward other people. And again, when feelings get into the picture, things become a lot more difficult. And it becomes a lot more difficult to try to put people on uh, a line graph on this is heterosexuality, this is homosexuality, this is bisexuality. and. And again, I mean, there's a ton of other different sexualities out there that have become um, more known about in recent years. And so that makes even things even more difficult. Now, in conclusion, I'm not necessarily for or against labeling when it comes to sexual orientations, but I think it's important to realize that labeling a person's sexual orientation is not as easy as labeling a food item or a street. Similarly to, it's not as easy to stereotype a person as it is to stereotype a chair. And so I think it's important to realize that people like Kristen Stewart and other celebrities and other, you know, general laymans are free to not choose not to label themselves because either they can't or they don't want to. And we need to understand that. In a world of labels, we need to understand that some people 
don't or can't label themselves. All right, so that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it if you choose to do such. Also, please subscribe to my channel so you can never miss out on any videos. And then also comment. Please tell me what your view on labels when it comes to sexual orientations or nutrition labels. Or if you just want to say hi to me, I like those comments as well. All right, well, have a beautiful day.